I don't know what prompt me to log into his MySpace and look into his inbox, but a bitch did. I immediately clicked the profile pic because I'm like, hold up, bitch. Their message is in your trash, and that's the only message in your trash? Like, I doubt it. But I was just in my mind making up scenarios of different benefits of the dollars that I could give this nigga, but I wasn't able to give him any, so. so much for watching essentially tv where we talk about everything and when i mean everything i mean like another story time so as you can see by the title i'm gonna be telling y'all the story about how your girl got cheated on with a whole dude y'all y'all know what to do before we get into the story go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below because you don't want to miss these stories y'all don't want to miss all the crazy information and crazy tea of Angelique. <laughs> y'all don't want to miss any of these videos, y'all, because I'll be spilling some tea. It's just the place to be. And also hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss whenever I post my videos. But sometimes YouTube be messing up, so don't forget to follow all of my social medias above. And let's just go ahead and get into the video. So, y'all, this story occurred whenever I was 13. Around MySpace time, whenever MySpace was really, really big, everybody and their mama was on MySpace, and so was I, my fast behind i met this guy we're gonna call him dro now this is the summer of 2007 or 2008 i can't remember but it was one of those summers and i'm this guy on my space now he did not live in houston because you know y'all know i lived in houston from the age of nine on up so he didn't live in houston he lived in louisiana and he lived in natchitoches louisiana it's like a real real country uh, like northern Louisiana. It was like a virtual relationship, but <laughs> back then I was always getting into these virtual relationships anyway. I don't know why. I just was always on the internet. Do y'all remember tags? Like tags would used to be popping as well. My mom used to always put me on a Greyhound bus to go visit my grandma because my grandma lived in Louisiana as well, but she lived in Lafayette, Louisiana. Lafayette is southern Louisiana and he was up north. So damn near every summer mom would put me on a bus to let me go visit my grandma. So I'm um, my grandma was real cool real chill it was just me her my grandpa like she didn't really care what I did um, as long as I was doing you know what I was supposed to do so I used to always be on the phone up all night like my mama she didn't allow me to be on the phone all night I used to stay up on the phone with Dro all night we just talking about just random shit like you know I'm 13 and he was actually older than me he was 16 at that time uh, I'm Pretty sure I lied to him about my age, um, cause th that was around the time I used to lie about my age all the time. Do not be out here lying about y'all age. It's 2020. Y'all can't be getting people caught up. Don't be doing that. At this point, we were in a relationship, a virtual relationship, and we also used to have each other's name in our signature. Like y'all remember back in the day, we used to have text message signatures, and I think they still have them now um, on some phones. But you just like a lot of people don't use it if you tell somebody hey what's up whatever your signature is it's gonna be at the bottom so um i don't remember exactly what my signatures used to be back then but i know it used to be on some lovey-dovey type stuff i love dro or dro for life some friendly ass shit you know um and he used to do the same you know that used to make me feel some type of way it was like oh he has my name and his signature and stuff like that you know damn well if this dude was really cheating on me which you know he was obviously he could easily just erase that i wasn't thinking on that level at that time so one day dro changed his signature to i love egypt i asked him about it because i didn't know who the hell was egypt and where Egypt came from because he ain't never been there and I ain't never been there so I was trying to figure out who and where like what was going on he was like oh that's my niece and I'm like oh okay cool I knew of his mom and like close people who he always hung around and stuff in his family but I never heard of a niece called Egypt but I just thought okay maybe it's like his play niece or something like that I didn't really question it you know and we also had each other's MySpace passwords now why we had each other's passwords I don't know I don't know what prompt me to log into his MySpace and look into his inbox but a bitch did you know I looked through his regular inbox and I didn't really see anything uh, but something just led me i think it was the holy spirit okay the holy spirit led your girl um mm -hmm, to that trash can and i clicked the trash a message popped up when i clicked the trash inbox there was only one message in there and that message was from someone with the name egypt in their profile name or whatever i couldn't really see who the person was because the picture was kind of like 
the first one was in a mirror but they were far away so i couldn't really tell if it was a girl or a boy i decided to click the message i saw the messages between them basically flirting i don't know exactly what the messages were it was a long time ago but i know for a fact okay they were flirting they were having a not so normal conversation if you know what i mean <laughs> i immediately clicked the profile pic because i'm like hold up bitch so i asked him about it and he said it was his niece but i'm looking at something else and i doubt that you just i don't know maybe it's a coincidence i don't know i doubt that it was a coincidence that you're talking to somebody named egypt and their message is in your trash and that's the only message in your trash like i doubt it i doubt it but i was just in my mind making up scenarios of different benefits of the doubt that i can give this nigga but i wasn't able to give him any so so i clicked the profile and of course it was a man it was a dude a little boy and you know i decided to send him an old text message and i asked him i said so what's what the fuck is going on i seen a whole nigga in your trash and the name is egypt but you just told me earlier that it was your niece so what's what's really going on so at this point he can't really like get himself out of this because you know it is what it is and it was what it was he ended up confessing he was like yeah you know i'm bisexual no one really knows in my family it was messed up that i was talking to him while we we're together i'm sorry i hope you can forgive me y'all know my forgiven ass i've been forgiven since 1995 um I forgave him and as I forgave him I, I noticed how more open he started to become with me like tell me his deepest secrets and of him being with men he was like telling me some crazy stuff that he never told anybody eventually time flew by and we grew apart I don't really remember why we broke up more than likely because of the distance like I can't really see any other reason why but I know it wasn't just because he was cheating on me or anything like that he was a cool dude or whatever he probably was cheating on me because we had two separate stage like come on out i'm 13 you 16 let's be realistic here we're friends with each other on facebook and he gay as hell y'all he probably i don't even know if he watched my videos but um he is on my instagram so if you're watching this dro hey boy <laughs> i'm glad he's finally living his life because i can only imagine how it felt for him to hide that you know from people at that time but he's out and everybody knows and he looks so happy and i'm happy for him so you know that's that but y'all yeah, that's the end of this story um yeah your girl was really out here virtually dating at the age of 13. if you have any stories similar to this go ahead and put it in the comment section below i want to read them i want to see what y'all didn't want through because I just be wanting to know. I'm nosy too, so <laughs> let me know. And also, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Let me know how you felt. And lastly, don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias. So y'all know what to do. I know I said it in the beginning of the video, but I just gotta remind y'all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.